Hello everyone and welcome back. Hope we are well. So here we go. We have another affordable sports watch from Citizen to review on the channel today. But again, before we start with the video, if you like this channel and like my reviews, please subscribe to the channel and help in keeping this channel alive on YouTube. The reference number for this watch is NJ0120-81E. So from the price point of view, this watch retails for $550 in Australia, but I only ended up paying $130 for this watch online. And I can tell you straight away that it is a lot of watch for at least what I paid for it. I just happened to be at the right place at the right time and did not think twice before making this purchase. But I firmly believe even if you end up paying a bit more than what I ended up paying for, uh, for my watch here, it'll still be a real good uh, buy. From the aesthetic point of view, this watch does look like a diver's watch, but this is not a diver's watch, it's more of a sports watch. A couple of things um, I, I want to uh, mention there. One is that we have a pull and push crown and not a screw down crown on this watch. The other thing is the water resistance, which is only 100 meters and not uh, 200 meters that you will uh, expect uh, on your diver's watch. So light water activities will be okay, like swimming, snorkeling, uh, it, it, this, this watch will be able to cope with, but uh, I will not even recommend shallow water diving with this watch because you can risk uh, damaging uh, your watch if you go diving. From the dimensions point of view, we have a case that measures at 43 millimeters across. I, I firmly believe that this watch will fit uh, nicely to medium to large size wrist and then small wrist. The other things you need to consider is the case thickness of 12.6 millimeters that I measured on this case. It, it does feel and look fairly chunky and the lug to lug distance of 50 millimeters as well. This watch does fit um, fairly heavy as well. It does feel heavy and does fit, uh, sit heavy on the wrist as well. So uh, there, are, there is one thing that you can definitely do in reducing that weight on your wrist by removing this um, stainless steel bracelet and replacing it for uh, for something else. A couple of things come to mind straight away is you can have a leather strap or a NATO strap for example and this 22 millimeter lug width will give you a lot of uh, options out there. I'm pretty sure um, most of the people out there will be able to find something that they really like and that will fit this watch. The glass on the top is a mineral crystal. I'll highly recommend replacing this mineral crystal for a sapphire crystal if you do end up buying this watch or if you already have this watch. Unless you're okay with having this mineral crystal which doesn't have a lot of anti-reflective coating and it will be prone to scratches. I think spending a bit extra on a sapphire crystal will really add a lot of value uh, to the watch and it will just give you the peace of mind having that anti-reflective coating and that anti um, that resistance to scratches as well. So um, that's, that's food for thought. The dial is a combination of black and white. We have a black dial with white markers and then we have uh, red framing on, the, uh, on this large minute hand and that red tip on the second hand as well. I really like this red accent on the uh, on the hands. I think it adds a bit more to the um, to the overall likability of this dial. This is one of the biggest chapter rings that I've seen uh, on the dial. You can see it does take up a lot of real estate on this dial and um, it kind of makes the um, the center of the dial look small. Some people, this might put some people off um, so um, I'll just give you a bit of a close-up as well so you can see how big this uh, chapter ring is. Most of the um, markers, the hour markers are round except the uh, 12 o'clock marker which are two uh, rectangular uh, markers and the date function is at 3 o'clock. I like the size of this date window. It's not too big, not too small. So really thoughtful from Citizen because as I said earlier, the center of the dial is not uh, that big so um, having this sort of kind of medium sized date window is is uh, really ideal for uh, for this dial. Uh, we have a um, pull and push crown as I said earlier you can hand wind the watch when the crown is in its original position pull the crown out to position one and rotate it anti-clockwise and that will adjust the date pull the crown out to its final position and then you'll be able to adjust the time on this watch there is loom on the uh, hands and the markers and the hands, as I said earlier, are fairly big. The, the hour hand as well is uh, quite chunky with this uh, kind of pointer um, end to it. Um, 
The uh, other thing I really, really like about this watch is the quality of the bezel. Uh, the insert on this bezel is aluminium. It does feel really well made, really easy to uh, rotate as well with, uh, with these uh, edgings on the, um, on the bezel itself. I really, really like the quality of this bezel. I'll give you um, a quick click function as well and you can hear the, uh, the clicking noise. So you can hear it does make a real nice click noise. And when, you, when you're rotating this bezel as well, it doesn't feel cheap, it doesn't feel um, uh, clumsy, it feels real solid, aligns well, and there's barely any back play as well. I mean, I'm trying hard, but this bezel is not moving at all. So I really like the quality of this bezel from Citizen, and we have a bezel with uh, full uh, markers on it. So really like the, uh, the quality of the bezel, and there is pip loom as well. Now this is a sports watch, not a diver's watch, so that's a nice touch from Citizen. We'll do a loom check shortly. The case is stainless steel and it's all brushed. The only polished part that will be visible on your wrist is this unsigned crown. Everything else is all brushed. Even this uh, stainless steel bracelet with solid end links is brushed. Finish is really, really nice. I'm really impressed with the quality of finish on this watch. And, um, and the way it feels, so I'm, I'm really uh, impressed with what Citizen has managed to achieve at this price point. Let's do a quick loom check. One thing about the loom that I tested earlier is it is, it is immediate, but it does start to lose its um, strength fairly quickly. It is stronger on the hands when compared to the markers. As you can see, it is already starting to fade away a little bit, and it will keep fading away and um, and the strength will um, keep getting lighter and lighter. So the immediateness is there. The the, the loom that will, you will see immediately is is fairly bright, but then it will start to uh, to lose uh, its strength fairly quickly. So that's the loom on this watch. Let me turn the lights back on so we can carry on with the rest of our review. The quality of the bracelet is really, really nice as well. As I, I did touch on it earlier, we do have solid uh, end links, and at this price point, they are really uncommon. The finishing on, finishing on the uh, on the bracelet is really, really nice. The links are fairly chunky. Uh, it'll be easy to um, adjust the uh, links as well with these um, push-in pins. A couple of things that I don't really like about this um, this bracelet: one is uh, only three micro adjustments. On this bracelet and the clasp does feel a bit cheap it is uh, it does feel fairly thin as well so those are the couple of things i don't like about this um, bracelet but apart from that the quality of the bracelet the finishing is really really nice at this price point we do have an open case back as well and you can see the uh, citizens 8210 automatic movement in there it is gold plated it is a gold tone I've seen a lot of Citizen watches lately, uh, they, they have started to do this with their uh, automatic movements, giving them a gold tone. Uh, nothing special about this movement at all. Um, 21 joules, 21,600 beats per hour. Tolerance is plus, mi plus to minus 20 to 30 seconds per day. It does not offer hacking, but you can hand wind the watch. So, um, and offers up to 40 hours of power reserve and the watch is fully round. So, uh, fairly basic. Uh, automatic movement but again at this price point you can't really ask for uh, for more so here we go a really nice looking um, sports watch from Citizen uh, not a divers watch as I said earlier but I think uh, at this price point it does tick most of the um, most of the uh, buttons let me give you a quick wrist shot as well I've got a seven inch wrist so let's see how it looks on my wrist it, as I said earlier, it is a fairly big watch and it does feel heavy as well. It is not sized to my wrist at the moment, but you can see from the side as well, it is um, it is a fairly, fairly thick watch as well. It, it does look chunky on the wrist and um, it does have, definitely has presence on the wrist. Thank you very much for watching. So this concludes our review of the Citizen 
I'll see you with my next video shortly. Until then, stay safe and look after one another. Thank you.